if you guys are looking for a new OP team on FIFA and have no idea what to build, let me build the team for you. Click the link down below in the description. If you guys are interested, you'll be able to contact me so I can build you a squad. You tell me the budget that you do want the team to be and if there's any specific players that you do want in the squad, I will build you a team for a very cheap price. It's only $5 which in the UK is under £4. It helps me out and I help you out as well again click the link down below in the description give me the budget of the team you do want if there's any specific players you do want in the squad what council you're on and also a way to contact you whether it be your twitter or your email i'll make a squad and send it to you as quick as possible let's go ahead and get into the video Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another squad builder. Today, I'm building a team that will cost you about 600k. It's gonna be built around the new SBC, Mena. I'm gonna be telling you guys my opinion on this card. If I think the SBC is worth doing or not, leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy. I am kinda sick today, so hopefully my voice doesn't sound too different. And let's go ahead and start building this team. The goalkeeper is gonna be from La Liga, and we are gonna be going with with Keppa, an awesome goalkeeper, 84 diving, 85 reflexes, not the tallest, but as I've said, he's quite good. And then at the center back on the right, we are gonna be going with his teammate, that is gonna be Espelacueta, and he does get a perfect link. Not the tallest center back, but this guy's quite quick, really agile, 89 interceptions, a 90 stand tackle, great defensively, really good on the ball as well, has really good stamina for a center back. And then at the center back on the left hand side, it is gonna be a player from the Serie A that is gonna be Benatia, a really strong center back, 93 strength, 86 aggression, really aggressive, a complete rock defensively, 87 stand tackle, 89 marking, 85 jumping wins me, a lot of headers, and then at the left back is gonna be a player that I do have as untradeable, that is gonna be Alexandro, the best left back on the game, really good on the attack and also defensively, and then at the right back, we're gonna be moving back to the Premier League and going with Antonio Valencia, a really solid player, 85 pace, mainly in the team for the chemistry as he does get a link to Mena but he played quite well and that right there has been the defense and then moving to the midfield the center mid is gonna be a center attacking mid that is gonna be Paulo Dybala and of course I don't play him as a center mid this is only to get chemistry he does have an amazing shot really good on the ball 88 long shots 91 agility I think he's kind of underrated on FIFA he played great in this team and he's only about 50k and then at the left mid we're gonna be moving to the button as he got and going with Royce a really clinical winger 86 finishing 83 composure on the attack he's an incredible he has an amazing finesse shot gets me a lot of goals and then the right mid is gonna be of course the new SBC Mena this SBC came out last night but the servers were down all day I can't believe that EA is like a multi-billion dollar company and they have such bad servers they really do need to go ahead and fix that now talking about the Mena SBC it's only about 30k for from scratch so really cheap and I think that is a really good price so right off the bat this SBC I think is worth it he does have 93 pace and 90 shooting 90 dribbling 5 foot 6 so quite small medium medium work rates 4 star weak foot 3 star skills looking at the in-game stats he has really nice pace really good shooting and finishing very nice passing and also dribbling I think the dribbling stands out the most as he does have 99 agility and 99 balance he's honestly really quick on the ball really agile and also keep in mind he's 5 foot 6 so feels even more agile sometimes 99 stamina as well I think the only main problem this card has is getting him into a team Valencia is the only other usable player from his nation and in La Liga MX there really aren't too many good players especially ones from his club that get strong links another problem I had and it wasn't much of a problem as I did play him as a cam was the work rates medium medium aren't the best but again I did play him as a cam and in that position this guy is great as I've said he's really quick has a really good shot really powerful is awesome on the ball overall for about 30k I think this SBC is worth it even if you don't build a team with him you can always use him as a super sub and he can do a lot of damage up top that's my opinion on this SBC and then the center attacking mid on the right we are gonna be going with an icon and it is gonna be the middle version of Varane I've heard a lot of good things about this card and I did want to go ahead and give him a try he's only 
about 300k, so quite cheap. Every stat above 70, 6 foot 1, really well rounded. Looking at the in-game stats, he does have 93 shot power, 90 short pass, and 90 ball control, 89 aggression. This guy is one of the best midfielders I've played with, highly recommended. I think 300k is quite cheap, go ahead and try him out yourself. And then at the center attacking mid on the left hand side, we're going to be going with Witzel, the OTW version, really similar to Varane. Every stat above 70, 6 foot 2, 4 shot skills and weak foot, a complete rock in that midfield and he's only about 50k, incredible defensively and not too bad on the ball, 91 stamina, 85 ball control, 89 composure, and then at the final player, the striker, we are going to be going with the second inform Werner, I do have him as untradeable and I got him from foot swap, a really sweaty striker, 95 pace, really good finishing, 94 finishing, the composure is quite low but with the finishing being so high, he does finish most chances, so that right there is the team for about 600k this is an awesome team it played really well in game i do change formations to the 4-2-3-1 and then that right there is how the team does play in game Witzel and varon play as the cdms royce Dybala, and mena as a center attacking mids and then up top Witzel. i think the team plays best like this but you guys can also play in the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation and then play the team like that Witzel as a cdm and then play Dybala as a center mid mena as a center attacking mid and then up top Werner and Royce that can also work. Dybala is actually all right in the center mid position especially next to Witzel and Varane who are quite defensive so that right there has been the team. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. You can do a lot of changes to this team if you want. For example if you don't like Dybala you can use Goretzka as a center mid and then play Boateng at center back with Alaba at left back. You can always also just change up the whole left side of the team as you do have Varane so you can build like a full Premier League team or like a La Liga team on the left side, maybe play Ben Yedder up top, and then Promez at left mid, Casemiro at center mid, it's really up to you honestly. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed, leave a like on the video if you have, and be sure you guys do subscribe if you're new. Let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys do want to see next, if there's a budget or a player that you guys do want to see me build a team around. It's been ETG and I'll see you guys next time, peace.